the video, I have seen the video, and the, there is uh, one officer spraying uh, pepper spray. You didn't quite see who he was aiming it at, but within seconds, you see police are walking through the shop, oh, rubbing their no. eyes. Why did he not <laughs> and, hear that? Uh, um, Andrew Costa, he hasn't denied that could have happened. He said they are uh, investigating it. The police have said that they had three officers who had battery acid thrown in their eyes, and as I say, it seems unlikely um, because the, the, the officers are not on death's door or losing their eyesight at the minute as far as we understand. Now, what is more plausible possibly is the video that has emerged showing a police officer pepper spraying. Now, it, it, this video is doing the rounds online and, and what it is is a, a police officer who honestly looks like he really is at a loose end and doesn't know what he's doing. I feel kind of sorry for him. But anyway, he has a can of pepper spray in his hand. It's a red can. And he sprays sort of towards the front of, of the shot and sprays again, and then in a couple of seconds, a couple of police officers come running from that direction, and one of them is kind of rubbing at his eyes and is clearly in some sort of distress. Now, we are in a he-said-she-said situation. The coppers are saying there was battery acid thrown. The protesters are saying, no, you pepper sprayed your own officers in the eyes. At this stage, there is only video supporting one of those stories, and that is the protesters' stories. Now... What this means is that you have to start questioning all the other stories that the police have thrown out there without any verification whatsoever. So suggesting that there might have been sexual assaults within the camp without any proof of it, suggesting, saying that feces were thrown. There is no proof of that at the moment. So now we're starting to question everything, aren't we? How much of what the police have told us is verifiable? Now, we've asked the police to come on the show and talk to us after five o'clock. I'm still waiting to see whether that's going to happen.